Oh, good afternoon. I am going to explain the guide for this week. If you remember, okay, this is for segundo año de bachillerato and we are in fase 2, semana 5. Here, you already have in yellow color the general information. Fase 2, semana 5 and the day of, for today, May 14, 2021. Unit 4, eating habits and the content recipes. Últimamente hemos estado hablando acerca de recetas y esta no es la excepción, seguimos hablando de ellas. And I have here the activities. Let's study vocabulary related with this topic. If we are talking about recipes, we need, for example, vocabulary, verbs, and things. Vamos a ver algunos ejemplos de verbs and things. Vamos a tener el verbo y una expresión en donde utilicemos y mencionemos algunas cosas. And it says complete a list of 10 verbs. Pero ya tenemos aquí 1, 2, 3, 4 examples. Look at here. Cut. Cut means cortar. So my expression is cut the vegetables. Corte las verduras. Estamos utilizando entonces the verb and the thing that we mention is the vegetable. The next verb is wash, lavar. What is the expression? Para no estar repitiendo lo mismo, cambiamos las palabras y le agregamos algo más. Y nos dice así la expresión u oración. Mandato. Wash the strawberries carefully. It means in Spanish, lave las fresas cuidadosamente. In the letter C, we have the verb fry, freír. Y ahora lo vamos a utilizar with a time expression. Example, fry the chicken for 10 minutes. Fría el pollo por 10 minutos. And the last example is using the verb blend, licuar. And look at here, my example says, Blend the apples with a half a cup of water. Licue las manzanas con media taza de agua. Okay, so we have here, como repito, verb and things. Verb, things. Verb, thing. Verb, thing. En cada ejemplo nosotros unimos el verbo que teníamos con things, dando una pequeña expresión con el uso de ella. It says complete the 10. Como ya tenemos 1, 2, 3, 4, a usted le queda el trabajo de completar 6 verbos más con una oración como ejemplo. After that, we have make sure. We know that when we are talking about recipes, we mention measures. Mencionamos medidas and it says complete a list of 5 measures with an example. And I have here, cup, cup, taza. So I can say a quarter of a cup or a quarter cup. Spoon, cucharada, three spoons of sugar. Así van a ir haciendo ustedes entonces. It is, says five. You need to complete three more. Tres medidas más con un pequeño ejemplo para su uso. One point two. Mira cuidadosamente el siguiente video y escribe en tu cuaderno dos cosas. Ok, you will have a video in YouTube. And this person is talking about how to make a salad fruit or fruit salad. So you need to listen to things. What ingredients can we mention? De todos los que ella mencione, ustedes van a escribir five ingredients. After that... Ella va a mencionar muchos, but you need to mention three steps. De todos los pasos que ella mencione, you need to write three steps. Okay, this is about the video. I will attach the link for the video. En los materiales estará el link para ese video. Now, we have the last activity. Let's practice by sharing how to make a fruit salad and follow this example. Ustedes en la guía número 10 ya estuvieron practicando how to prepare your favorite drink. Saben entonces que si estamos hablando about a recipe, you need to mention the ingredients. 
Como anteriormente ya vimos, palabras que nos sirven para indicar measures, medidas, aquí van a hacer uso de ellas. Por ejemplo, si quiere decirme tres cucharaditas de miel, you need to say three teaspoons of honey. Así van a ir haciendo entonces mencionando the ingredients with the correct measure. After that, you need to explain how to prepare the salad. Cuando usted quiere explicar the procedure, remember, pueden ir enumerando las oraciones, one, two, three, four, five, etc. Or you can use words to join sentences. For example, first, second, after that, finally, etc. Pueden hacerlo de las dos formas entonces, using this word or just a number uh, the sentence that you have you need to write, ok, enumeradas las oraciones entonces o utilizando palabras para unirlas and all this is the guide for this week, look at here we have the recursos en línea and also the criteria to evaluate the activity so remember su receta, the recipe the activity about the video and three measures and six verbs and that's it for this week okay thank you